whoever makes the akhirah his main focus. What does that mean? Some of us may wake up and the first thing we're thinking about is how can we increase the numbers in our bank account? But this individual, he's not negligent when it comes to his duties and responsibilities. He's still going to go to work. But the first thing on his mind is, what can I do to get closer to Allah? And yes, he goes out to work, he might go out to university. But can you see the difference in the mindset? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of everything for him, as in the hadith. Allah will place that contentment and richness in his heart, that which money can't buy. People are suffering from al faragh al ruhi being spiritually empty. But this person will be content. dunya wa The dunya will be dragged towards him. There are people like that. They're not chasing it, they're just doing their basics, but still everything comes. That's because they didn't make it their main priority and focus. And then the opposite was mentioned as well. Whoever makes the dunya his main priority, Allah will make all of his affairs fall apart. He will be empty inside and he will only receive from the dunya, which was written down for him and the Prophet ﷺ said, poverty will be placed between his eyes. You may ask me, okay, this guy's got money, he just cares about his dunya. That's not the only type of poverty, faqar. There's different types of being needy. Because the term faqar, right, when you look deeply into it, comes from being needy. And you're not just needy when it comes to money. There's so many other things that we are in need of. We're deprived of knowledge. We're deprived of happiness. And this is the kind of life that he will what? 